Sorry, I'm sorry. Get out fucking crap right now! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, 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 don't move. Yes, sir. Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today we'll be making a security alarm system inside of Home Assistant. To do so, we will be using the default manual alarm control panel provided inside of Home Assistant. We'll be using Node-RED to make the logic and then we'll be calling out to a third party service called Noonlight for our central monitoring that will dispatch the police or fire departments. Before we get started, I wanna highlight that you are in charge of this alarm system. I cannot be responsible for this. This is something that you are doing for yourself. I will try to help you along and teach you how to set this up, but ultimately it is your responsibility to protect your own home. Um, this has worked great for me for the last year or so, and I'll actually have footage here in a second of an attempted intrusion that I was able to detect with Home Assistant and called the police for me. Traditionally, I've used services such as ADT and Brinks at previous residences, and I don't love them. They are very expensive. I found them to have very slow response times, horrible customer support, and downright deceptive practices. So when I had the opportunity moving to this new house to make my own security alarm system and rip out the ADT system, I did so. And I used the existing ADT sensors using a product called Connected IO. I'll link that below and maybe I'll cover that in a future video. Wasn't a whole lot of setup there. Once I got into Home Assistant, it was just more sensors to use that were hardwired. Ultimately, you will be responsible for maintaining the battery life of your devices to trigger these automations and ensuring that they work correctly by testing them and knowing for certain that the police will be on their way. I really like this setup as it is really cheap, really customizable, and I've been able to have my alarm set almost every night and every day that I'm away from home without having to think about it. I no longer enter codes. It is based on my location and access to my home assistant. I don't have any keypads on the wall. I think it's pretty slick and overall, pretty silent with an alarm coming over my Google speakers to alert you that there is about to be the police called. That being said, this system is customizable to you. It is reliant on your hardware, your automations, and your internet and your power. So I would strongly suggest that you have an uninterruptible power supply, that you might consider a failover internet over cellular, and generally understand that this isn't perfect, but no device or product is. I think that this is comparable to Simply Safe or the Ring Alarm with a lot more customization. If you have Simply Safe or if you have the Ring Alarm system, I hope to cover in a future video on how to integrate that into Home Assistant as well. And you can build out on top of that system and, and potentially using that existing system to call the police. To dive in, we'll go to our file editor and we need to go to our configuration YAML. This configuration YAML is a file that controls your home assistant with all kinds of things that you can add here. Uh, before the helpers existed with groups and the like, you'd have to manually add them here. Automations can be added here, scripts and scenes as well. We can see that those are currently referencing a different file to do that logic. The first thing that we will add is the manual alarm control panel. All the configuration variables that you need are on the Home Assistant website. If you go to integrations and look up the manual alarm control panel, we have options for codes to require to turn it on or off. This is great if you have a tablet laying out as a dashboard. I don't personally use that because it's just my phone in my pocket that I'm using to arm and disarm. And we've got all kinds of timings such as delay time, arm time, trigger time, um, and that's to help build 
in safety around your system to ensure that you have enough time to turn it off if it's a false alarm, but also quick enough to call the police while there's still potentially a break in that you can get help. The national average for a time, I believe is a minute 30. We can make that way shorter. We can make it way longer here with Home Assistant. Personally, I've had experiences with things like ADT where it was more than an hour to get the police dispatch unless the police actually show up. Um, and I've been really happy with Noonlight so far in Home Assistant. So the first thing we'll add here is the actual alarm. I'm gonna copy and paste it from my existing setup just to save time. Um, it is the alarm control panel, platform manual, name intrusion alarm, so we don't get it mixed up with a smoke or CO alarm. After disarm, after trigger. So this is if your alarm gets triggered, it goes all the way through, it calls the police. Do you want your system to be disarmed afterwards? I have mine set to false. I just want it to arm again. Arming time, zero seconds. That is when I hit arm on my app, it immediately, it is ready. You cannot come in and out that door without setting off the alarm. The delay time is 45 seconds. So that is 45 seconds from you tripping the alarm by walking in the front door, for example. You have 45 seconds to get on your phone and hit disarm before it calls the police. The trigger time of 10 seconds is how long it'll make that call beacon out. I don't really find this to matter as much. 10 seconds has worked for me. I think you could probably tune it down to five, but 10 is just safe. I know it'll get out within that time. Disarmed trigger time is also zero. Um, I want it to just go right away. On top of the actual alarm control panel, we need a date time sensor, and we can add that here to the configuration YAML as well. I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here. It's the time date sensor. I'll have this in the description. So we'll click save, and we're gonna restart Home Assistant because we added our control panel, a new integration. So we'll just let it restart. So now that Home Assistant has restarted, we can add our integration or our entity here, the alarm panel. And I really only use two modes, armed home and armed away. You could set an armed night, armed vacation, or add a custom one. I'm gonna do this just like this for now with armed home and armed away, just for testing. And then I also wanna call out that I will be using this Acara door and window sensor as a representation of your door or window or whatever you want to trigger this alarm. You can add tons of sensors to do so, but I just have this here as our little tester and that's via Zigbee to MQTT. So we have our alarm, we have our sensor and we are now going to go to Node-RED. I apologize for the abrupt stop here. We are about to get into Node-RED automation flows and it's gonna be a long video. So I thought I'd come back, cut this here and make a playlist out of it for the Home Assistant Alarm Control Panel. If you don't currently have Node-RED installed, check out my other video on how to do so and click that video, uh, hopefully on the screen right now to watch part two. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.